Hey guys, today we're going to use Photopea Editor to turn ordinary photo into this 3D like picture that you may see on Facebook. I got no more picture here, I just duplicate the layer with the image. And now I will turn this duplicate layer into grayscale. So I will turn it black and white, just like that. I'm very lucky here because my main object is bright, it's almost white. That's what I need. We are creating that map here. So whatever is bright will be close to us in this fake 3D and the darker elements will be further back as the backdrop. In my case, it's almost perfect straight away. Not much work here. If you got different picture, you may need to recolor this slightly or even maybe invert your colors. In my case, that's nice. I just need to make the backdrop a little bit darker so this flower really pops. I'm using quick selection tool now. I select the flower, but I also select the flower in the background. That's not what I want. Let's try to deselect this area. And as you can see, I deselect too much. All right, let's try to reselect. And again, I select too much. Seems like I will have to do it manually. The colors are just too similar. So maybe lasso tool will be good here so I can manually deselect this flower in the background. So I use subtract mode for deselection. And as you can see, if I do it like this, this selection will disappear. All right. Now I need to be a little bit more precise. So command plus to zoom in and I will deselect this area. Almost there. Sometimes you need to do some stuff manually to just to be sure with correct selection, like in this case. Okay. And we deselect the flower in the background. Now only the white flower is selected. Let's invert this. So selection, invert, and now everything else is selected except the white flower. I can use, I think, brightness mode here, contrast and brightness adjustment, and reduce the brightness for everything. Remember, we're creating the depth map. Bright colors are close to us and dark colors are far away from us. That will help Facebook to create this fake 3D. All right, let's match this adjustment with the original picture. Perfect. But we still got this white spot here. Seems like I will need to do some kind of brutal force here. So I will just pick the gray color, very soft brush, and I will paint over this. I don't want any white color in the background. Backdrop needs to be darker than the main object. All right, and this way we create some kind of depth map that will help us generate the 3D version of the image. The depth map is black and white, is grayscale actually, darker color in the back, bright colors at front. So that's my depth map, that's the original picture I got. Let's preview this 3D effect. To do that, you will need a plugin. You can go to Window and Plugins, and there you will see a plugin 3D Depth Viewer by Photopy itself. I already installed this plugin as you can see. So in my case, I don't need to do it. Here it is. That's what you need to preview those social media 3D images. Here it is in my case. I will open the plugin here. That's the default photo. I will load my own picture. So load colors. Be sure you select only the layer with the picture of colors. All right. That's my colors. And now I will load the proper depth map. So load that. And here it is. Now only my flower is popping up and everything else is a backdrop as I want. All right, so thanks to this plugin, you can preview the effect while you are still working in Photopea. So there's still, still time for adjustment. I'm happy with this effect. So I'm going to export my files. I will need to export two images, two JPEGs, and then upload them together. Be sure they got the same name and the one is marked as the depth 
I will show you how. So file, export as JPEG, that's my main image, normal image here, we can put the name, so that's my flower JPEG, save that, maybe 80 for quality, Facebook would do compression anyway. All right, and now I turn on the other one, the grayscale one, and I will save that again as separate JPEG. Export as JPEG, and the name is the same, and then underscore and def. So that's our very helpful file to create this fake 3D. That's what we need. We need two files. And here I am on the Facebook, drag and drop both at the same time. At first they load normally, but then the Facebook start merging them into 3D photo. This will take a moment. So you need to be patient. And after a moment, you will see this nice 3D picture exactly as we created in Photopea. So you can do it manually on your computer using Photopea. All right, guys, while we are still here on Facebook, be sure to follow me. You can see here's my fan page, Crewmark Tutorials. I always post my YouTube tutorials here as well. So if you are using Facebook, feel free to follow me here as well. I hope this was useful and I will see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.